Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. Well, let's talk about enhancing athletic performance. Let's talk about enhancing mm -hmm. uh, cognitive performance. What are the studies you've seen that say that ozone actually takes healthy people and makes them more performant? Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of research on ozone's ability to mediate oxidative stress and increase oxygen efficiency. So oxidative stress is defined as an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants. Free radicals being these little molecules that are byproducts or your mitochondria that will steal electrons from other cells and damage the DNA, damage the cell, and you don't necessarily want an excess of that. They can be good in certain scenarios for cell signaling and things mm -hmm. like that. So they're not all bad, but when you have that imbalance, it's when it's bad. The antioxidants, on the other hand, are the ones that quench the free radicals, so they have an electron to be able to give away. So one of the things that ozone therapy claims to be able to do and the research behind it shows is that it can actually mediate oxidative stress. And that's really interesting because ozone is an oxidant. Why would you be using an oxidant to mediate oxidative stress? It doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, when you go out and exercise, what are you causing? Oxidative stress, of course. Yeah, absolutely. And the reason that it's healthy is because it actually signals a different pathway than like smoking would, which is severe oxidative stress or obesity or these things that are bad for you that cause an unwanted amount of oxidative stress. So ozone is actually similar to exercise and it signals a similar pathway called the NRF2 pathway um, where it's actually good for you. So this can be good in terms of athletic performance because it'll help people to recover faster. It'll help them to diminish the effects of you know those workouts that are really tough or if you're playing football those hits and then on the other side of it oxygen efficiency so i know frank schallenberger you've talked to him quite a bit about this and those types of things there's two things that can happen to oxygen when it goes into your body it can create energy or free radicals so a basketball player for instance if you have two different basketball players one made 100 points and the other made 20. you might say well the one who made 100 is better but what if he shot 300 baskets Right. You know, so he didn't have necessarily a very good percentage of baskets that he made, where the other guy hit 100%. You, the guy who made less points but hit 100% of the baskets would be the better basketball player. So with oxygen efficiency, it's not necessarily about the amount of oxygen that you're breathing in that's important in that scenario. It's how well your body is utilizing the oxygen. Because if you're not utilizing it well, you're creating free radicals. You're creating these things that you don't want. So ox oxygen efficiency is important for being able to maintain higher levels of cognitive performance, for athletic performance. Um, it's just a fundamental aspect of our lives that we all need.